Welcome to the Employer Solutions Portal online tutorial. In this tutorial, we will be reviewing how to create a new user group. User groups are a way to consolidate system permissions that are common for a group of users. During the tutorial, I will refer to the Employer Solutions Portal as ESP. We will begin by logging into ESP. At the login page, enter your username and password and click the Secure Sign-In button. After successful login, you will see the dashboard for your organization. To create a new user group, click on the Users menu in the list of menu options available at the left. If your user account has permissions enabled, you will see four tabs at the top of the page. Click the Add Group tab to begin the process of creating a new user group. If you do not see the Users menu at the left, or do not see the Group or Add Group tab at the top of the Users page, please contact your organization's System Administrator to be provided access. The Group Information section is where you will enter a name for the user group that you are creating. Several user group templates have been created with default permissions enabled that can be used to get you started. To better demonstrate all of the features available, we will create a user group without using one of the templates. Click in the Group Name field and enter a name for the user group that will describe the type of users that will be assigned to this group. In this example, we will be building a user group for users in our organization who are not in an administrative role, so I will enter Associates in the Group Name field. The Begin Date and End Date fields allow you to enable the permissions associated with this user group to be available for a finite period of time. In this example, we will leave these two fields empty so that the users assigned to this group will always have the permissions that are selected. The user group permissions are grouped into categories. The Administrative Activities section is where you can enable permissions for users in this user group to affect other users. Selecting the checkbox next to each of the permissions in this section will enable the feature. Leaving the checkbox deselected will not allow the permission. In this example, we will select the All checkbox under the Collection Site Match to allow the users in this user group to use the Collection Site Locator in the Tools menu, but will leave all other permissions in this section deselected. The Order section is where you can enable permissions for users in this user group to create, cancel, edit, and delete order records and allow them to use any of the organization order templates available. In this example, we will select the checkboxes next to the permissions that will allow users in this user group to create orders and order templates and to use order templates, but not be able to edit them, cancel them, or delete them. The results section is where you can enable permissions for the users in this user group to view drug and alcohol results. In this example, we will select permissions that will give users in this user group full access to results and images of the custody and control forms. The Detail All option in the Drug and Alcohol Results Display dropdown will enable users in this user group to see all negative and non-negative results with as much detail as possible. We will not allow users in this user group to delete drug and alcohol results, so we will leave this checkbox deselected. The Drug and Alcohol Results displayed for Reason for Test will allow you to restrict the types of results that users in this user group are able to view based on the Reason for Test. In this example, we will allow users to see all results, so we will leave the checkboxes selected. The Background Check Results section is a placeholder for future functionality in ESP. In this example, we will select None from the dropdown since background check results will not be available. The Client Site Location section is a placeholder for future ESP functionality. In this example, we will leave the All checkbox deselected. The Reports section is where you can enable permissions for users in this user group to view the management reports available in ESP. In this example, we will select the All checkbox so that all of the management reports will be available in the Reports menu. Click the Save button at the bottom of the page to save the user group you have created. A banner message will display at the top of the page 
indicating that your user group has been created and you may now add users to the group. Click on the Users menu at the left and the Group tab at the top of the page to see a list of all of the user groups available for your organization. The Associates user group we just created now appears in this list. From here, you can view the group details, add users, or delete the group. User groups are a great way to create role-based permissions for users within your organization. It will enable you to quickly add a new user to start working in the application. This completes this Employer Solutions Portal online tutorial.